there, friends. Welcome to Stampin' Peace with Mary Nate. I'm really glad you're here today. Um, I'm glad I'm here today. Yesterday was a rough night with um, my neck and back. Um, but I'm here. You know, I can sit and wallow or I can get up and do what I need to do. And um, I know that every time I get on with you to share some creative inspiration and creative products that I always feel better. So I hope you feel better by coming here today also. Um, I guess I should give an update on my back because a couple of people have asked recently. Um, I did see a surgeon on Tuesday morning and they are recommending um, surgery because I have two herniated discs. And he said, what happened to me in January um, and February will likely happen again. And just like before, no warning. So um, it's a little bit scary, but I've decided I am going to go ahead with the back surgery, but I'm gonna wait till May. Emily and I are going to Mexico on the Stamp Stampin' Up! incentive trip, April 29th through May 4th. Um, so I want to be good for that and enjoy my time with my daughter. And um, and then sometime in May, um, I'll do the surgery and have a few weeks recovery. But um, while it's scary, I guess I'm a little bit scared not to have it too, if that makes sense. Um, because I just want, I want to feel better and I want to be around for my family. Um, and to be enjoy enjoying life with them and all of my Stampin' Up! community. So thank you for your continued prayers. Thank you for your concern. And to those of you who reached out with messages and texts and emails and cards, please know that I appreciate it all. Um, and it does not go, I do not take that for granted. Um, it's really a cool thing to think that stamps, ink, and paper can create a community like this um, for each other. We celebrate good times and um, we're there for each other with support and prayers through more difficult times. So thank you to all. Okay, today um, I'm going to be featuring the new in colors and um, we're going to make some quick and easy cards. We're also known as SIP cards. And if you're not familiar with SIP, SIP stands for Stamps, Ink, and Paper. Those are the basics of card making and paper crafting. Um, and of course, punches, dies, embellishments, ribbon, all that other stuff um, is extra. You, but you can still create wonderful, wonderful cards with um, just stamps, ink, and paper. So I'm going to show you that. And then I'm going to show you some of those cards that I stepped up as well. All right, I'm going to flip my camera around now so that we can get started with today's projects. While I'm doing that, please share this live video um, and or type the names of your um, friends in the comments, tag them so that they can join in as well. Ruth, I am right with you. I love the new in colors as well. And to me, they scream spring and summer. And I'm going to move some of this out of the way. I have like a whole bunch of stuff going on here. Um, so first I want to show you the new in colors. Um, and there's lots of ways I can show you because we have, I have lots of the products. Okay, so these are the new in colors. We have Peach Pie, Petunia Pop. That one might be my favorite. Um, Pretty in Pink, which is, if not the same, very, very similar to our old Pretty in Pink, if you remember that. Um, I'm hearing different things that it's the same, and other people said it's super, super close. I don't have any of the old Pretty in Pink products anymore because I sell off my retired products. Um, so I can't make that comparison, but just looking at it, 
I would say it's it's really the same. Shy Shamrock. And then Summer Splash. Summer Splash, I think, is my second favorite. And this reminds me a lot of, I would say, a cross between um, Coastal Cabana and Bermuda Bay. It's a little more subtle, not quite as bam out there, um, super bright, but um, love them ned nonetheless. And in addition to the inks and the refills and the cardstock, we also have this wonderful ribbon, which I used for the first time today. And I have to say the ribbon is, um, I, I just love it. It's actually very thin and easy to work with. It makes nice bows, but does not create a lot of bulk on your cards, which is what I'm always looking for because I love to use ribbon. But um, I don't want it to create too much bulk when I put bows on my cards because I'm going to be putting those through the mail, of course. And so this is really nice, easy to work with and a nice weight and thickness. Um, we also have two embellishments with the in colors. The resin dots, which are opaque colors, um, two sizes of each color. And then we have these, let me pull this out. These are the shimmer gems. How can I put this on so you can see it better? The shimmer gems. Again, two sizes of each color. So these are more, I don't know, festive, celebratory, I would say. But you know how we love bling and embellishments. So I was so excited to see that there's two embellishments with the new cards, or new in colors. Um, and then finally, I want to show you the designer series paper, which we'll be using um, today. So for each color, you're going to get five sheets of two different patterns. I already used two sheets from the set. So you would get five of these, five of these, and then so on with the other colors, okay? Um, and I have to say, I love all four patterns and prints. I really do. Um, this last set of In Color DSP, I really didn't care for the patterns. And you know they're different every year. Um, and uh, this year they just really, they really speak to me this year. Oh, Linda, I'm sorry you've been sidelined for a while, but I'm glad you're here today. So really beautiful in colors. Um, and for today's projects, I'm going to pick one of each color. So somebody just tell me what you want here. Um, tell me a color. First of all, let's pick a color. Well, no, we're going to do all five colors. So tell me a pattern. Do you want stripes? Do you want the leaves? Do you want the polka dots? Or... I don't even know what to call that. We'll call it fancy. Okay. <laughs> How's that? Fancy. Um, stripes, leaves, leaves. Anybody else? Stripes or dots. Fancy. Okay. So your answers, your responses tell me you too like all of the patterns. I'm so glad. Um, Ruth was the first one to respond, so I'm just going to go with her answer. Trust me, they are all wonderful, and I will show you examples of cards made with all of the different patterns in just a little bit. Um, let me show you how I'm going to, oops, we did say one of each color. Let me show you how I'm going to cut the DSP. And with Cutting the DSP like this, I'm going to make one of each, but, oops, that's not the right thing. Um, I'm going to make one of each, but you could actually make two of each, and you'll still have some DSP left to make other cards, which I will show you in another video. Oops, I have that. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now, um... I'm going to cut three of these and then two of these. For each of these, 
Um, and I think if you have something that's directional, like the stripes, the others I don't think really matter. Um, but if you have something directional, you'll want to keep in mind, do you want to make vertical cards or do you want to make horizontal cards? Today I'm going to make vertical cards. So I need pieces that are, oh, I didn't show you this. This is one of my favorite products ever, okay? Favorite products ever. Um, and I always have these on hand. These are the basic white note cards and envelopes. And if I'm not mistaken, they're going to go up in price in the new catalog. So if you like these um, and are in need of some, order them now rather than later. Um, and if you've never used them, I highly recommend them. The reason being is they are so economical to use, so economical. Um, and just for a few dollars, you get 20 cards that are already scored and cut for you. And they make cards that are sized five inches by three and a half inches. And yes, these, this size card can be mailed. You can't mail cards any smaller than that. You can't mail three by threes or three by fours, but you can mail the five inch by three and a half inch note cards, okay? So I'm gonna pull five of those out along with five envelopes. And again, I think this is a very often looked, often overlooked product in the catalogs, um, but it is a great value great value, and they're wonderful for making lots of cards at once. So because my card fronts will be five inches by three and a half, I'm going to go down a quarter inch in dimensions. So I want three inch by four and a half. No, let me think. Three and a quarter by four and three quarters. Three and a quarter by four and three quarters. So I'm measuring four and three quarters. Whoops, that's the height I need. And I'm going to set these aside. I will use these in another video or live. So you'll be able to see that I can use up. Um, you know, I did cut that wrong. Oh, okay. Come on, start again, Mary. It should be because my DS, my, I'm sorry, my note cards fronts will be five inches by three and a half. My cardstock layers will be three and a quarter by four and three quarters. Three and a quarter by four and three quarters. So I was right the first time I said that. Um, so I need four and a half by three. Four and a half by three. Okay, so now I have two of each of the five colors when I cut all that. So four and a half by three inches for the DSP. And of course, when I put this video on my blog, I will have all the dimensions for you. But let me show you this. Because this could be a uh, six by six one sheet wonder. Okay, just like this. All right. And I'm going to be using, I hope I cut that correctly. Um, I'm going to be using one of these, but you could flip this over and make that, okay? And then, like I said, I will show you in another video how you can use up um, this last strip, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do, and again, I'm just going to take one of each of the colors. We could, we could do them all today, um, but it could be a little lengthy and I want time to show you um, the others that I made. So I'm just going to put the color DSP on the coordinating cardstock. I love that Stampin' Up! has everything um, color coordinated for us. It sure makes life easy. You don't have to be guessing what's the right green to go this with this DSP. 
The cardstock and the DSP are exact matches and exact matches to our inks and markers and embellishments as well. So they take the guesswork out, which is exactly what I need. And I have to say that was um, probably the first thing that was most appealing to me when I was introduced to Stampin' Up! products, oh, probably 17, 18 years ago. Who remembers all five colors? I know some of you demonstrators are watching, and I have a feeling you have these. If you participated in on stage, you've already um, done the pre order. Um, anybody else, any other demonstrators that did not attend on stage, you'll be able to pre order starting April 2nd. And then for customers, um, all of the products in the new annual catalog. Um, you'll be able to start purchasing on May 1st, I believe, okay, May 1st. So April 2nd for demonstrators, and then May 2nd for customers, all righty. Okay, so now I'm just going to fold these five note cards that came in that pack of 20, super. And one thing I will say is these are probably machine cut and um, scored, so when I get these, what I try to do is match up the sides and then go over that score line with my bone folder really good. And it gives it a nice crease and it makes sure the sides are matching up. If one side is a little shorter than the other, I like that to be on the back side. They are a heavy weight. Think of our basic thick white cardstock, it's it's like that, a good sturdy weight of cardstock. Tanya, you are welcome. Okay, and then I'm just going to add these layers to my card fronts, and then we will decide what sentiment you want to use. I've pulled out a bunch. And you can see that I'm doing these cards assembly style, assembly line style, where I do the same step five times, and then I move on to the next step and do it five times. And the other thing I want you to note is because you are actually getting 10 different sheets between the five colors and the different patterns, you're actually getting 10 different sheets of this DSP. And if you cut the way I instructed, um, this size DSP, you will be able to make 20 of these cards, okay? 20 of these cards. So four in each of the colors. So it's a great, where's my other one? Oh, that is five, okay. Guess I pulled out one too many. All right, so help me out here. Um, I was thinking of using this set, Comforting Thoughts. It's an online exclusive. I love it because it helps me um, with saying the things that are difficult, sending messages for difficult situations, that sort of thing. Um, so that's an option. And then um, this one, which I'll probably be using next week in my Facebook Lives. Um, but I'm thinking the birthday. Hope your birthday is wonderful. And this one is carrying over. 
All right, so this will stay in the online exclusive. This is carrying over, so it's not going away just yet. And then, oh, there it is. You're right, Tanya, I didn't put the green on. That's the kind of week I've had, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, but my taxes are done, and that is a good feeling. And I am caught up with my paperwork and my numbers for um, 2024, the first two months. And then this one, and I'm thinking that. So thoughts? It's a good day to have a good day. Hope your birthday is wonderful or one of these. I especially love this. Um, and note on this one, there are ones um, for the front of your cards and then a coordinating sentiment for the inside, like this one. I don't always have the, I don't have all the right words to say. I do have lots of love to give. So any thoughts on which you would like to see? It's a good day. Okay. Awesome. So I have pre-cut some pieces of white cardstock because I figured I needed these no matter which sentiment you chose. Um, I am using this punch. It is not orderable right now, but don't panic. It's one of my new favorites and it's not going away. It will be back in stock later in April for people to um, purchase. All right, so don't panic if you've been wanting that and you haven't been able to get it. So this requires one of my largest clear blocks. And I'm going to stamp these pieces of basic white with basic gray. Um, I just like the way the basic gray looks against these different in colors. Not quite as harsh as um, black, but not too light either. And because I'm using a photopolymer set, I want to bring in my Stampin' Pierce mat, make sure I have a nice cushion. And there is so much stuff for today's uh, demonstration. It's all over the place. And I'm just going to stamp this right in the center. I'm going to do this five times. One for each of the cards. Again, I'm doing things assembly line style because I like to make several cards at once. Then I have some to use now and um, I'm building up my card stash as well. All right, then let's do some coloring. Um, I've got five to color, but trust me, this coloring goes so fast. So what I'm going to do is bring in all of my Stampin' Blends. I love Stampin' Blends. They make me happy. My favorite coloring tool. Um, and I'm going to use each of these throughout coloring these five. And it won't take me very long. All right. First, I'm going to put some dark peach pie. Sometimes these the names of these colors make me hungry thinking about food. Peach pie. We have a pie store in Westerville called Just Pies. Oh my gosh. Every one is amazing and different flavors and um, holidays, they are just packed. So I'll be going there at 9 a.m. tomorrow when they open. In fact, I'll go a little bit early. Um, and I think I'm going to get triple berry pie. But they have all kinds. They even have frozen pies and cream pies and fruit pies. But yeah, I'm the name of this color, peach pie, makes me think about I want to go to the Just Pie store. And they don't even take orders. They are so busy that even for holidays, they don't take orders because, honestly, they can't bake the stuff fast enough. 
Um, and you're never quite sure when you're in there if they'll have exactly what you want. I've never been disappointed. I've always been able to get what I want, but I know at different times they will sell out of cer certain flavors. It's just no way to predict when people are just dropping in. And they don't need to take orders because their business is so big um, and they have so many varieties. Everybody's happy when they're in there. There's so many to choose from. They really don't need to take orders. But tomorrow I think I'm getting triple berry and then I decided, well, I might get a second one and that would be Buckeye. Since we're in the Buckeye state, it's like chocolate and peanut butter. Okay, then I'm going to use... Um, the green. Actually, I'm going to use Summer Splash on one of them for the leaves because this one will go on the card that has the Summer Splash cardstock in DSP. I decided I would bring that in for that particular card. I love new Stampin' Blends. The tips are just like, oh, they're perfect. Not that you have to have the perfect tips to do the coloring because obviously mine get used a lot and they do start to wear, but they last a very long time. One thing about using um, blends, I have found that they last longer and keep the tips keep their shape better if you um, kind of use like, I would say like a brush stroke. So instead of coloring back and forth, like maybe we um, were taught with crayons, um, just use a brush stroke. I tend to go in the same direction. And that's especially true if you're using the um, wider tip. Okay. And then on the others, I'm going to, I want the dark first. I'm going to color the leaves with Shy Shamrock. It's amazing to me that we have so many greens. And yet this is so different than the others. So I guess we have a green for everything just a matter of picking your preference. Anybody else feel that way? Oh, I should ask, what is your favorite in color? I've been curious about that. Um, I haven't met with my team um, since coming home from on stage, but I wanted to ask them that too. I'll meet with them on Tuesday. Um, what's your favorite in color? Peach pie. Petunia Pop, Pretty in Pink, um, Shy Shamrock, or Summer Splash. You can see it looks like a lot of coloring, but it really is not because it goes so quickly since the images are small. They're small, but they're not too hard to color. And the last thing I'm going to do is, um, oh, Petunia Pie, see lots of Petunia Pops, Pretty in Pink, new but old Pretty in Pink, yep. Um, oh, I forgot to color these others. What's I thinking? I looked up and I got distracted from what I was doing. Pretty in Pink, Summer Splash, Peach Pie, Petunia Pop. How many of you like them all?
I think Shy Shamrock is my least favorite, but I still like it. I just like the others a wee bit more. And then the last thing I have to color on these is the, um, the blossoms. And I'm going to color some with Pretty in Pink and some with Petunia Pop. But don't these colors just scream spring? My daffodils have bloomed. My tulips are coming up. And they have blooms on them, but I think it's going to be a couple weeks. And we've had some really cold nights again here in Columbus. Okay, and lastly, I'm going to use Pretty in Pink Dark to color these blossoms. And these, it's almost like a dot and dash. It's hard, I can hardly call it coloring. Dot and dash. Spring in the 80s. Interesting. Interesting, Tiffany. I didn't think of that. I can see it now, though. Now that you've said it, I can see that. Oops. Actually wanted to color that one petunia, but that's okay. Try not to play favorites with these colors. Trying to use them all. Does anybody have this stamp set? What's it called? Filled with happiness. And it was created to um, go with this punch. The punch will carry over, the stamp set is not. Just so you know, if you really like this, um, it is retiring, all right? And as soon as we hit April 9th, things will start selling out. So some may sell out before then, but just be aware of that. Okay, let me make some space. Um, and like I said, we're working with, we're making sip cards, stamps, ink, and paper. So I'm going to... Just adhere these to my card fronts, but then I'm going to show you a clever way to um, step up these cards. A few clever ways. So you get me, just right, just stamp, sink, and paper. Here's the one where I colored the leaves with Summer Splash to coordinate with the summer splash paper. I love anything with fruit. That's why I bought this set. I love anything with fruit. I love the sentiments, but um, really bought it because of the fruits. And then one more. Okay, so here's all five colors now. And it's it's the same card, just made over and over and over, okay? Now, and I was so hoping when I asked which sentiment to use that you would say, um, use it's a good day, because I wanna show you something very fun with this stamp set and punch. And it is a way, an easy way to um, step up these simple cards made with just stamps, ink, and paper. Doing this a little more quickly than the others.
And it's actually this that made me buy that punch. That punch debuted in the um, September to December mini catalog, um, but I didn't care for the stamp set um, and really didn't need it. So, um, but I just bought the punch. And then when they came out with the filled with happiness stamp set, I was like, oh, I need that one. These could be, I'm calling them oranges. They could be peaches. They could be grapefruits. Make them whatever you want. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that punch. It is not big enough to punch out the whole stamp, but it does punch out the center. So the same thing with this. It's not big enough to punch out the words in the center, but it does cut out that center and it does punch this. And of course you can use it, as I will show you shortly, use it with lots of other um, sentiments and dimensions as well. And then you just take it and you put it over. So really I didn't even, I mean, because we were doing simple stamping, I wanted to show you the coloring. But if I was doing it this way, you wouldn't have to color the one underneath, okay? But a fun way to use that punch. And again, the punch is not orderable right now, but it is coming back. It will be back in April. All right, let me show you some others that I made. And remember that I said this, you can make 20 cards. So for this one, I used thinking of you, praying for you, hoping with you. So that's from the Comforting Thoughts stamp set from the online exclusives. So there's my five cards there. So that's 10. And then I made these. Hope your birthday is wonderful. And that's from the Hooray for, Su for Surprises stamp set. And I used the, um, the shimmer gems because those seem kind of festive for the birthday cards. So there's five more. And then, and I didn't, um, I didn't have time to... I decided these, I was, I sat on them for a while, not sat on them, you know what I mean. I was thinking about them for a while. How did I want to use these? And I decided I would use these um, as uh, sympathy cards. So I need to search for a good sympathy sentiment to put on that. And I'll probably use some of those opaque gems for this. Um, so again, this is, this is, two sheets of each of the colors, okay? So I get the four different patterns times five colors, 20 cards. And you just need one package of the note cards and envelopes. So it's a very um, quick and um, inexpensive way to quickly make a lot of cards. In fact, you could make all these up and add sentiments later if you want. Um, and I love Kathy Kelly's idea. She uses the little note cards to make nice gifts. So she'll do a set of six cards for a gift of handmade flowers. Um, I'm going to scroll back. Tiffany says, love, love, love. Awesome. Melanie likes the bows. Is there a new oval-shaped stamp set? Um, Melanie, gosh, for as many times as I've looked at the catalog, I don't think so. I don't think there's one that directly coordinates with this, but you will find lots of sentiments um, and images that will work with this punch. It's sort of, to me, an all-purpose punch. It's definitely going to be a new, um, what do I want to say, a new go-to punch for me. Um... Looking to see if I missed any questions. Sometimes with new products. 
or even outgoing products, there are questions. Do you know what the date? Oh, Tanya, we talked about that. The date for the demonstrator pre-order is April 2nd, I believe at midnight mountain time. And then um, for customers, it starts May 1st. Tiffany's asking, yes, I when I get all this on my blog, there will be measurements and um, the supplies. So I will definitely put that on. For now, um, I am going to quickly answer Stephanie's questions about the measurement of the DSP. Let me find two the same color. Well, we're not going to find two the same color. Okay, let me just cut one for you. Cut a DSP. So what I did was for... And again, you have to kind of pay attention to if you're making vertical cards or horizontal cards, if your um, DSP is directional, okay? So at the top, I'm going to call this the top of my DSP and the bottom. I For vertical cards, and you could do the same for, do it the same way for horizontal cards if it's not directional, but I'm going to um, cut at four and a half inches. And then at three inches, whoops, at three inches, measure twice, cut once, right? So this is what I did with each of those. So like I said, if you want to make a large assortment of cards, um, you do it right here with this, okay? So these are four and a half by three inches across. And then this would be one and a half inches by six. All right. Susan, my blog address is Stampin, S-T-A-M-P-I-N, Peace, P-E-A-C-E, dot com, stampinpeace.com. And Tanya, the stamp sets I used, hooray for surprises for the birthday sentiments. I use comforting thoughts, this is in the online exclusives. I love this. This is a great stamp set for making caring thoughts, what I call caring thoughts cards. Um, and then fills with happiness. This one, hooray for surprises, caring over, filled with happiness, will be retiring. So if you want this, I suggest you order it soon, okay, before it's gone. I hate to see people disappointed they didn't get what they want. Alrighty. Um, thanks so much for being here. You guys made my day. Um, like I said, it's been a little bit of a rough week and last night was um, a rough night with lots of pain in my neck and back. But um, gosh, being here um, has lifted my spirits. It's filled my cup. Thank you. I appreciate you. And um, I will not see you till next week. So have a happy Easter. Enjoy your weekend. Um, and I will see you soon. Until then, I'm looking questions. Um, Tanya, the other stamp set that went with the push was in the holiday catalog at the end of last year. Okay, so geez, filled with happiness in this one. All right, everybody, um, happy Easter. Until I see you again, happy stamping and be kind to yourself and one another. Bye-bye.